Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday and time for take five, so let's dig in. We have been recapping and reviewing and going over and studying the, the series that we've been in now for two weeks entitled Your Reasonable Service. And we've been discussing the idea that, that God wants, expects, and even demands that we live a lifestyle of excellence in every facet, in every gamut of our life, in every area. We, God expects that we live a lifestyle of excellence. He expects us uh, in our personal lives, in the everyday things that we do, He expects us to do those things with excellence. In our relationships, at our jobs, in our relationship with Him and our devotion to Him, He expects that we serve with excellence. And so last week we discussed that excellence must be a wholehearted endeavor, that your whole heart and every passion of your being has to be involved in it. And then this week we're discussing the fact that excellence must abound more. In 1 Thessalonians 4 and 1, Paul said that, that the, the way that we live our lives and the way that we walk our relationship out with God, it must excel more and more every single day. So we learned that we are required to, to serve up to a, to a standard, and then we found out that we, as we learn more, as we learn that there's better, as we learn that, that we can do better, then we should do better. We can always serve better, live better, give better, do better, work better. We can always do better in every area of our life. There's not one of us, no matter how good we might be at something or how good we might do something in our lives, there's not one of us that can't still be better. And we don't want to get caught up in the trap of settling for good or settling for what is good enough because we found out that if we consistently settle for good enough and we don't strive for better, then we are in danger of actually believing in our heart that there's not better for us, that we can't do better, and then that's a bad place to be. There's always better. We can always do better in every aspect of our lives, and we should always be striving for that every single day. And the Apostle Paul, we, we read about in Philippians chapter 3 Sunday, where the Apostle Paul talked about this. And he, he, he kind of went on this discourse about how, you, you know, Paul was, uh, before he became a Christian, Paul was a part of the, the religious group, the, the Pharisees. And Paul, he talked about in Philippians chapter 3 right there that he was the best of all the Pharisees. If there was somebody that was the best at something, it was Paul. And he talked about his pedigree and you know how smart he was and how intelligent and how good he was at serving in the, under the law of Moses and how, how righteous he was according to the law of Moses and how he was the best of the best. And he even said one time that there's no, no blemish to be found in the way that I served God under the old covenant, the Mosaic law. But then he said, then I learned better. I learned about Jesus. I learned that there was a better way to be found righteous in God's eyes. We no longer had to live under the Mosaic law, but now he gave Jesus. There's a better way. And so Paul said, after I say all of those things about how good I was under the old covenant, I don't want you to think that that, that was the best that I could be. He said, now that I have learned better, he said in verse 12 in, in uh, Philippians 3, he said, now I press on. Now I work hard every single day to be better and better than I was before, better and better than I was yesterday. And when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to work better, work harder and harder to be better than I am today. He said, I press on to what is better. Now that I have learned that there is better, now that I have learned that there's a better way of doing things, now that I have learned that there's a better way to serve my wife or my husband, now that I have learned that there's a better way of to serve at my job, to serve my employer. Now that I have learned that there's a better way to serve in my, in my personal life, all the things. Now that I have learned there's a better way to serve God with my devotional time with Him, I'm going to press on and do my very best to be better in every single area. He said, I press on. I'm not perfect. I'm not there yet. He said, I'm pretty good, but every single day, I press on. And I think that needs to be 
a motto, a, 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 a life song that we begin to live by every single day in every area of our life, not just in our relationship with God, although that's the most important. I believe in every facet of our life, God desires and even demands that we press on. We can always serve better today than we did yesterday, and we can always serve better tomorrow than we did today, but you and I have to be willing to push past, to run from laziness like it's a disease, to run from the, the attitude of good enough like it's a disease, like it's COVID. <laughs> we need to be willing to run from that and press on to better in every facet of our life. And then I believe God will be pleased with our, 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 our service of excellence if we will do that. So my challenge to you today, at your job, in your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with your kids, in your devotional time with God, in your personal life, the way that you are uh, taking care of your body or taking care of the whole thing, every area of your life, my challenge to you today, find a way to do better today than you did yesterday. Very practical. It can be very, very practical. Find a way to serve God in every area of your life better today than you did yesterday. Okay, have a great day today. I'll see you tonight at church. If I don't see you tonight, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Take five.